Have you ever wondered why Arab countries have the largest oil reserves in the world? It's a question that has intrigued many, drawing attention to the global oil landscape. In our world today, oil is not just a resource. It's a pivotal element that fuels our economies, powers our vehicles, and even influences international politics. But not all regions are created equal in this oil geography. A significant portion of the world's oil reserves is concentrated in a specific region, the Arab countries. From the vast deserts of Saudi Arabia to the coastal stretches of the United Arab Emirates, these nations collectively hold a dominating share of the world's oil reserves. It's a dominance that has shaped their economies and transformed their cities, turning once barren landscapes into modern metropolises. But why is this so? What makes these Arab nations the world's leading custodians of this black gold? Stick around as we delve into the geological reasons behind this fascinating phenomenon. To understand this, we first need a quick crash course in geology. Geology, in its simplest terms, is the study of the Earth, its materials, the processes that act upon them, and the history of the planet and its life forms. But let's narrow it down to the aspects that directly relate to oil formation. Picture, if you will, a time millions of years ago when the Earth was covered in lush greenery and inhabited by a plethora of life forms. Now imagine that life coming to an end, whether due to natural disasters or simply the passage of time. These plants and animals didn't just disappear, instead they decayed and turned into organic material that got mixed with mud and other sediments. Over time these layers of organic material and sediment compressed to form sedimentary rocks. The story doesn't end there though. As these layers of sedimentary rock were buried deeper and deeper under the Earth's surface, they were subjected to intense heat and pressure. This process, known as diagenesis, transformed the organic material into a substance called kerogen. But we're not at oil just yet. The next stage is catagenesis, where the heat and pressure intensify even further. This causes the kerogen to break down and transform into crude oil and natural gas. This oil then migrates through porous rocks until it gets trapped in reservoirs, waiting to be discovered and tapped into by U.S. humans. This entire process, from the death of an organism to the formation of oil, is known as the geological carbon cycle. It's a slow, steady process that takes millions of years to complete, and the conditions need to be just right for it to occur. With this basic understanding of geology, we can now explore why Arab countries are so rich in oil reserves. The secret to the massive oil reserves in Arab countries lies beneath the surface, in the Arabian plate. Let's delve into this geological wonder to understand its role in the accumulation of these oil reserves. The Arabian plate, an expansive tectonic plate located in the eastern hemisphere, stretches from the eastern Mediterranean to the Persian Gulf. Its unique geological characteristics make it a perfect storehouse for oil. So what makes the Arabian plate so special? The Arabian plate is primarily composed of sedimentary rock layers that have accumulated over hundreds of millions of years. These layers bear witness to the ancient seas that once covered the region, teeming with microscopic aquatic life. As these tiny organisms died, they sank to the bottom of the sea, becoming part of the sedimentary layers. Over time, under immense heat and pressure, these organic remains transformed into hydrocarbons, the primary component of crude oil. The Arabian plate also boasts a unique structural feature known as anticlines. These are essentially folds in the rock layers that create a dome-like structure. As oil is lighter than rock, it tends to migrate upwards through the porous sedimentary layers until it gets trapped under an impermeable layer within these anticlines. This geological feature acts as a natural reservoir, keeping the oil safely locked away. But the story doesn't end there. The Arabian plate is part of the larger Afro-Arabian rift system, which has been pulling apart for millions of years. This tectonic activity has created numerous fissures and faults, further enhancing the porous nature of the sedimentary layers and facilitating the movement and accumulation of oil. Lastly, the arid climate of the Arabian Peninsula has played a significant role in preserving these oil reserves. Without large amounts of rainfall to erode the rock formations and carry away the oil, these reserves have remained largely undisturbed for millions of years. As we can see, the Arabian Plate's geological makeup plays a key role in the wealth of oil reserves in the region. This unique combination of geological conditions has fostered the creation and preservation of the world's largest oil reserves right beneath the Arabian sands. But having the right geology is only part of the equation. The perfect conditions need to exist for oil to form. 
Now let's dive into the specifics of what these perfect conditions are and how they led to the formation of the vast oil reserves in the Arab region. The first condition relates to the types of organisms that lived and died in these regions millions of years ago. You see, oil doesn't just appear out of nowhere. It's the result of a lengthy and complex natural process that begins with the death of microscopic aquatic organisms, primarily algae and zooplankton. These tiny creatures once thrived in the warm, shallow seas that covered much of the Arab region during the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods. After their death, these organisms sank to the bottom of the sea, where they were buried under layers of sediment. This leads us to the second condition, depth of burial. The dead organisms needed to be buried at just the right depth for oil to form, too shallow and the organic matter would decompose before it could turn into oil. Too deep, and the heat and pressure would be too great, transforming the organic matter into natural gas instead. Thirdly, the climate at the time played a significant role. The Arab region was primarily a hot and humid tropical climate. This climate was ideal because it led to high rates of productivity among the microscopic organisms and it also promoted the rapid deposition of sediment which helped to bury the organic matter before it could decompose. Finally, over millions of years, under the right conditions of heat and pressure, this organic matter was cooked and transformed into the black gold we know as oil. The oil then migrated upwards through the porous rock until it was trapped by a layer of impermeable rock, forming an oil reservoir. These ideal conditions have resulted in the prolific oil reserves we see in Arab countries today. This perfect storm of conditions, the right kinds of organisms, the right climate, and the right depth of burial, has contributed to the Arab region becoming one of the world's largest oil producers. The abundance of oil reserves in Arab countries has had undeniable impacts, both locally and globally. Let's start with the local impacts. Economically, these countries have experienced significant transformations. Once primarily agrarian societies, they have evolved into modern, urbanized, and industrialized economies. The oil wealth has funded infrastructure development, education, healthcare, and other social services, significantly improving living standards. However, the reliance on oil revenue also has its drawbacks. It has led to what economists call the resource curse, a paradox where countries with an abundance of natural resources like oil tend to have less economic growth and worse development outcomes than countries with fewer natural resources. The reason? Well, the easy wealth from oil tends to discourage the development of non-oil sectors, making the economy highly vulnerable to oil price fluctuations. Plus, it often leads to political corruption, income inequality, and social unrest. Now, let's move on to the global stage. The Arab countries' oil reserves have given them a significant role in international politics. They have a substantial influence on the global oil market, affecting oil prices, energy security, and geopolitical dynamics. The formation of the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, better known as OPEC, is a prime example of this. It has allowed these countries to coordinate their oil production policies and exert collective influence on global oil prices. This power has at times been used as a geopolitical tool, as seen in the oil embargo of the 1970s. On the social front, the oil wealth has led to a significant migration of workers from around the world to the Arab countries, creating multicultural societies. However, it has also brought about social challenges, including issues related to migrant workers' rights and social integration. In sum, the oil reserves in Arab countries have had profound economic, political, and social impacts. These impacts are complex, multifaceted, and not always positive. It's clear that the massive oil reserves in Arab countries are much more than just a geological marvel. So, why do Arab countries have the largest oil reserves? The answer, we found, lies beneath the surface. As we've journeyed through this exploration, we've delved into the mysteries of geology, discovered the uniqueness of the Arabian plate, and unearthed the perfect conditions that have led to the abundant oil reserves in these regions. Our story began with the enigma of oil, a commodity that powers our world yet remains shrouded in mystery. We then took a deep dive into Geology 101, understanding the processes that form oil over millions of years. The Arabian plate emerged as a protagonist in our narrative, its unique geological characteristics playing a vital role. We've seen how the perfect storm of heat, pressure and time turned organic matter into the black gold we so heavily rely on. The oil reserves in Arab countries are a testament to the marvels of geology. 
They also serve as a reminder of the intricate and interconnected nature of our world. Please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.